this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. In this week's guitar lesson, I'm going to show you how to play this finger style ragtime blues that works on an acoustic or electric guitar. It's really fun to play. You can play this by yourself, so you don't need any accompaniment. And this is played finger style. So if you've tried finger style in the past, or maybe you've never tried finger style, this would be a great lesson to jump in on because I'm going to break it down note for note, show you how the thumb and the fingers work together. And once you get the groove going, it's pretty fun to do, and it's something that you can do over any chord arrangement. So it's a, it's a great way to accompany yourself when you're playing guitar. So I've got this lesson split into two parts. In this video, we'll take a look at the first half. If you'd like to watch the second half and get the tablature for this lesson, you can get that by going to ActiveMelody.com, go to the weekly lessons page, and do a search for EP296. All right, so one thing you'll notice about a lot of great finger-style guitar players is that they're playing with a thumb pick with the right hand. Now, I don't play with a thumb pick because I'm just clunky with it. It's awkward for me. Every time I've tried playing with a thumb pick, I'm bumping into strings that I don't want to bump into, and I just feel like I can't feel where I'm at on the guitar. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't play with a thumb pick. So if you already play with one, definitely keep it. And if you've never tried playing with a thumb pick, you should try playing with one. There's too many great players that use them. Tommy Emmanuel, Chet Atkins, that type of player is using a thumb pick. So definitely try the thumb pick thing. The only difference between the two is really a tone thing. Uh, you get more of a clicky sound, the plastic on the string versus the flesh on the string. So when we're playing that boom chuck rhythm, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom, that's what they call that, uh, you get, um, I think, a, just a more percussive sound when you're playing with a, 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 fla a pick on your finger. All right, so let's talk about the song. So the song is played in the key of C, and uh, the, in this video, we're gonna go through that first half, and there's four chords in this video. So we're gonna go over a C, a D7, a D minor, and a G6. And I'll show you how to play all those chords, the voicings of those as we get into it. But those are the chords we're gonna play over. And what's cool about finger style to me is the left hand is doing very minimal work. If you watch what I'm doing with my left hand, It's just sort of basically holding down the, the chord while my right hand is doing all the heavy lifting. And so the, the right hand is kind of like your orchestra and you think, I think of the, my thumb as my bass player, it's also my, my rhythm section, my percussionist, and then your other fingers are covering melody and things like that. Um, all right, so we're gonna start with the C chord and we're gonna start by playing that boom chuck rhythm just with our thumb. And when you're playing with your thumb, you're going to be playing, the thumb is going to cover strings 6, 5, and 4. Um, and the, the first rhythm that we're going to play happens on strings 5, 4, 6, 4. I want you to say that out loud. 5, 4, 6, 4. 5, 4, 6, 4. Well, you don't have to say it out loud, but just get it in your head. Because that's the, that's the rhythm we're going to be playing. And so watch this. Watch this. And those are the string numbers, by the way. Strings 5, 4, 6, 4. Watch my thumb here. Five, four, six, four. And that's what I'm doing to start this. Now, I've, a couple of things to talk about. One is I'm letting this part of my hand rest on the strings back here to create a muffled sound or muted sound. If I didn't do that, the string or, strings are gonna ring out like that. And you don't really want that when you're playing finger style like this. You want that kind of muted uh, sound for the, for the bass part. And the rhythm part. And, and Chet Atkins, I always think of him as, maybe it was Merle Travis, but I don't know, I always associate Chet as being the guy that started all of that or really pushed it to the, to the next level, that whole rhythm thing, by muting those bottom three strings. So you're just going to have to play around with your hand here and just let it rest on those strings until you can get kind of the, the bottom half of your strings to, to be muted there. And it's not that difficult. It, it actually happens pretty uh, instinctively once, once you get comfortable with where it feels on this side of your hand here. Um, all right, so the first thing you want to do then is we're going to play a C chord, and we're going to play 5, 4, 6, 4. But watch, so I'm basically just playing the chord, except that my ring finger comes, when I go to the 6, it comes up here and hits the 3rd fret. So you have... You can see the other fingers are holding down the rest of the uh, the chord there. So that's that's the cadence there. Five, four, six, four. The same is true when we go to the D7 chord. So that's how we make the chord. It's the same as the C7 chord. You just slide it up two frets. 
but we're also gonna be playing five, four, six, four. And look at my ring finger, it's coming down and hitting the sixth string again, just like it did over the C chord. Now the only other thing I'll mention to this is when you're playing the four, it's okay to let your finger hit four and three. Uh, in fact, um, depending on how you look at tablature of, of finger style arrangements of, of things, some people will include that four and three. So instead of saying five, four, six, four, it'd be five, four, and three, six, four, and three. I just find it to be confusing when I'm trying to explain it this way. Uh, but, but if your thumb happens to brush into that third string, that's okay too. It's helping to create the rhythm thing. But either way, it's going to work. It's going to create the, the sound that you need. So let's back it up. From the C chord, we have... We'll play through that, and then we'll go to the D7. Okay, now we're going to come up and play a D minor. Now I'm just barring here. These three, I'm barring on the fifth fret. These three fingers are making the A minor chord shape. So this is out of the caged system. But you can see if I play five, four, six, four, or five, four, and three, um, it works over the D minor chord. So now let's back up to the C chord. We'll play two of the C, we'll play two of the D7, and we'll play one of the D minor. So let's try that. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, right? And then we come to the G chord, or the G6 chord. All right, so one other thing I should mention about five, four, six, four is the five, which is our first number in that, is always the, uh, the fifth string, but that's also where your root note is for the chord. So, for example, when you're playing a C chord, that C note, that low C note, is on the fifth string. So, uh, and so when we go to the D7 chord, that low note is also on the fifth string. And when we go to the D minor chord, that low bass note is also on the fifth string. Now, when we go to this next chord, which is the G6 chord, the, the low note is now on the sixth string. So all that means when you're playing finger style is now we're gonna change the pattern. Instead of five, four, six, four, we can't play the five because that's not the root note of our chord, but this is. So we're gonna come down now and play, uh, what I do for this type of finger style thing is I play six, four, six, four. So instead of doing the alternate thing, I just go six, four, six, four. So like this, six, four, six, four. And it works, it blends in really nicely with the five, four, six, four thing. So now you really, that's basically the simple version of how to play finger style rhythm over your chord shape. So now that you can do it with any chord that has a root note on the fifth string, you can now do it with any chord that has a root note on the sixth string. So if you wanna play an F chord, you wanna play an A, and so forth and so on. And obviously you can find different voicings for those chords and you can go as nuts with it as you want. But that's this very simple way of looking at the boom chuck rhythm and how you play it over chords. Now we haven't added the melody line yet, but at least we've started to get the rhythm built. So let's back up now and play through all of that. We're gonna play two of the C. We're gonna play two of the D7. We're gonna play one D minor, one G6, and then back to the C. By the way, the, the G6 chord is uh, to, to play it, you just play a G major bar chord, but you move your pinky up here to the fifth fret second string. That's how I do it. So I go ahead and think of this chord shape, but then I just reposition the pinky. All right, let's start now back at the C chord and play through that uh, cycle, just using the thumb part, the bass part. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Alright, so you're starting to feel the song a little bit, hopefully by now. You can pause that or rewind that part and go back through that if you need to. Now there's a pickup note that, that happens at the beginning of this, which I forgot to mention. So let's get in, it's not a pickup note, it's a series of notes. It's a little bass walk up, just like you'd hear in a band, like the bass kicking it off and then you come in on the one together. Uh, but to do that, I'm playing all of that with my thumb and I'm starting on the G note 
which is on the third fret sixth string, the open fifth string, and then I use my middle finger on the second fret fifth string, and then ring finger on the third fret fifth string so that I can go right into the chord. And then go into the to the part there. But there's that walk up. All right, so now that we've started with the rhythm, we have a basic understanding of how that works, let's layer on a melody on top of that. Now this, it's gonna sound complicated, but you're, once you break it down, you'll see that it's really simple melody. So we're gonna start with a C chord, and we're gonna play this. Now, look at the melody by itself. If I take the, the bass part out of it, the rhythm part out, this is what the melody sounds like. Just two notes. One, two, one, two, one, two. Those are the string numbers. My ring finger is playing the first string. My middle finger is playing uh, the second string. And by the way, I have longer fingernails with my right hand. I've always had that uh, just because of fingerstyle playing, but you don't have to have that. There's a lot of great players that just pull, you know, just use their finger touching the string. So don't think you have to wait and grow your fingernails out. You can do this either way. Um, all right, so let's, let's look at how we put that together. So when we start that, we're going to start with a bass note, which will be our thumb on the fifth string. And then when we come to the, uh, you know, your thumb goes to the fourth string, when your thumb hits the fourth string, you're going to pluck the first string at the same time. Now the other thing I should mention is I have my pinky up here on the third fret first string. So even though I'm playing a C chord, I've added that G note to the C chord. Okay, so we have this. There's our walk up. We're starting with a thumb, and then we're going to play strings one and four at the same time. Thumb goes to the sixth string, and then middle finger hits the second string. All right, so let's just get that part. One more time. Now, after I hit the middle finger on the second string, I'll immediately follow up with my thumb on the fourth string. So that's still, my thumb is still doing five, four, six, four. I know this part is like so confusing when you start to do this. It's a lot like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, but I'm telling you, it just starts to happen after you drill yourself on it a little bit. The, the key to this is doing it very slowly. So. All right. Just do that over and over again. It starts, to, you start to feel it. Now the second time through I went. Look at that. So look at what's happening there. Same notes, it's one, two. So when I played uh, one, I'm playing the strings one and five at the same time. One and five, two, four, with my thumb. Then we, I play one, six, two, four. One, six, two, four. So all together now, here it is very slowly. One more time. And that's the that's kind of the groove for this whole song. It's kind of that same feel. It's the, the same sort of timing thing. When we go to the next chord, we're gonna just take that same shape. We're just gonna slide it up two frets, and I'm gonna add my pinky to the fifth fret third string to play the D7 chord. It makes it very easy. I can keep the same shape, just slide it up. So you start with your bass note, so it's five, then you play two and four, six, three, four. Might want to write that down. So it's... And then we go back to uh, two, and four, two and five at the same time. So it's just two and five, and then four, six, four. Five, four, six, four. That's that cadence that I, I mentioned. All right, let's back it up now from the beginning. and I'll play through it slowly and add, I'll play those two chords. The only other 
thing I'll mention about that is when I'm playing the D7 chord, when I hit that note, I use my index finger on the third string. So basically I've got my ring finger on the first string, my middle finger on the second string, and my index finger on the third string. General rule. And then we come to the D minor chord. It's actually a D minor 7 chord. I actually misspoke at the beginning of this. I said it was a D minor. D minor 7 chord. So you just make a D minor chord and you take your pinky out of it to get a D minor 7. A little different feel there. So to play that, I'm going to play strings uh, 2 and 5 at the same time. So we're going to start with that. And then I'm going to play strings 3 and 4 at the same time. That's going to be my thumb on 4 my index finger on three. So you have two and five, three and four. And then ring finger comes up and hits one, thumb goes down and hits six. All right, let's try that. And then I come down and hit the second string with my middle finger, and I'm gonna come back and hit strings three and four again with these two fingers. So all together it goes like this. All right? Let's back it up from the C. All right, and then we go to the G6. Isn't that a nice sound? This one's really easy to play. We're just gonna bar all six strings on the third fret. And I'm going to do a hammer-on with my middle finger to the 4th fret, 3rd string. Now I do the hammer-on while I hit the two strings together. So I'm going to hit strings 6 and 3 at the same time, but I'm going to hammer-on to that 4th fret, 3rd string with my middle finger. So after I do that, I'm going to then hit strings 4 and 1. My thumb is on 4, ring finger is on 1. Back to the 6th string. And then my pinky comes down on the 5th fret 2nd string. That's what gives it that 6 sound, that G6 sound. And then I go ahead and hit the 4th string there, which is behind the bar. And it gives a nice clash with that 2nd that uh, string ringing out. So all together the G part goes like this. And then we go back to the C. Alright? And that's really the first loop. And then I go through it again and I, there's, a, there's a variation on it the second time, which I'll show you the few little nuances that make it different. Uh, but let me back up from the beginning and play us up through that, that first loop there. So once we go to the C, this is the same, same C that we've already done, but then I went, walked it right back up, kind of a cool bluegrassy bass thing there. So that's the third fret, it's the same walk up that we've already done. Third fret, sixth string, open, one, two, and then we're back into the C chord again. Now this, the second time through, starts off the same. Then when we go to the D7 chord, played it like that. So you can see I let the one string ring out. So it's, that's the same. And then I played that open one string with my ring finger. All right, so here it is slowly. All right, now we're gonna go to the, back to the D minor. That's the same. The G6 is the same, and then the C is the same. So really the only change, I guess I thought there was more changes to the second time through, but it's really just, just to give you a variation on that uh, D7 chord. Now the, set, the last time I go through it, uh, so we're gonna go into another part in the next video uh, where we go into a, 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 like a part B to the song, uh, but then I'll go back to this first part and I'll do another few little changes to it, just to keep it interesting. But let's back up now. That's really all I'm going to do in this video. That's a lot of information, and this will give you a lot to sit down and practice and play with. 
Uh, once you're comfortable playing this, I want you to take another song, any other song that you've got or that you're familiar with, uh, that you know the chords to, and just try that, that rhythm pattern, 5-4-6-4 four, four, or 6-4-6-4, six, four, six, four, and see what you can come up with uh, just by playing around with some different chords. All right, so let's back it up, and I'll go through this uh, first half one more time, then I'll see you in part two. Here we go. Okay. 